it's a really stupid move that someone would even think that they'd be able to like get away with this in any way, shape or form. Students are fired up over hateful messages found on an area college campus. The comments were put on a dorm room door at SIU Edwardsville. The content racial and threatening. News Force Russell Kinsall is in Edwardsville tonight asking what's going to happen to the person behind the hate. I saw a picture f flying around social media with like what it had written on it, which was some pretty vile things. JC Trello lives in Woodland Hall, where the message was written on a dorm room door. Students say the message included a reference to violence and a derogatory comment about blacks. I was shocked, honestly, because that's just you always hear about stuff like that. And when it actually happens at the school you go to, it's really bizarre. The message was believed to have been written late Saturday night or early Sunday morning. I think the, the message was undeniably um, one that meant to to threaten or intimidate. Jamie Ball is SIUE's Director of Opportunity, Access and Title IX Coordinator. We have some tools available um, in terms of our residence hall security because uh, students swipe in and swipe out so we can identify who's coming and going when. For privacy reasons, Ball said there are no surveillance cameras in the dorm halls. The university's bias incident response team has responded and SIUE police are investigating. This is a campus that really like um, prioritizes like diversity and safety of the students. Students say they're embarrassed that someone on their campus would do such a thing. Kind of disappointing because this is like a place we all come to learn and like be like be safe. Students say the victims are two female students and that the person who wrote the message also a female student. I heard and like saw pictures and videos of them escorting the student who did it out. So far, the university not commenting on a potential person of interest or what action has been taken against them, but they are saying whoever did this violated the non-discrimination and harassment policy and will face serious consequences. Students who are found responsible for violations of that policy would face disciplinary sanctions you know, proportionate to the harm that they've caused in the community, you know, up to including separation from the university. Students say they appreciate the university's quick response and that an email Email was sent out early to inform the campus about what had happened. In Edwardsville, Russell Kinsall, News 4.